in this video i'm going to be talking to you guys about a very important concept and this is something that frankly speaking a lot of students tend to struggle with and uh, what i'm about to discuss is how you can distinguish between reflection and rotation so why is this important because you're likely to come across questions where there's going to be reflection and there's going to be rotation you may be asked to describe uh, what transformation is mapping a onto b one of them could be reflection the other could be rotation so the important idea is what's important is that you need to be able to distinguish between reflection and rotation it's very easy to identify translation you have an object and it just moves from one place to another it's very easy to identify enlargement if the size is changing that means it's definitely enlargement but what students tend to confuse in is when it comes to distinguishing between reflection and rotation so that's exactly what i'm going to discuss right now so i have here an example question and uh, i should mention that a is the object okay b and c are the images okay now one of them is obtained by reflecting a and one of them is obtained by rotating a and our job is to find out that which one is a reflection and which one is a rotation. Okay, we're not going to dive deeper and describe what the reflection is, nor are we going to describe what the rotation is. But uh, actually, uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, we will do that. Never mind that. Okay, so uh, let's let's get straight to it. So let's talk about A and B first. So here's what you got to do. Whenever you have to distinguish between reflection and rotation, what you do is you take every point on the object, okay, and you join it with its corresponding image. That means if I join this with this, and this with this, and this with this. So there are two things that can happen. The lines could be A, parallel, or they could meet at a certain point. If they are parallel, which they are over here, that means it's definitely a reflection, okay? So I should, I should write it over here that you join A, in fact, join object, and image, I'm just going to write it in a in, in very concise and short manner, okay, with straight lines. That's step one. Okay, so here's step one. Step two is that if lines are parallel, then it's definitely a reflection. Okay. Now, what's the other case? Okay, well, what what happens when it's not a reflection? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna distinguish this. Well, I'm gonna do this with a different color so that you guys can distinguish. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna join every single point on the object with the image as we did earlier, but this time remember that the image is C. So this is the image of this, and this is the image of this point, and this is the image of this point. Okay, so here. What's important to note here is that the lines are not parallel. In fact, if you were to extend these lines, you'll notice that there will come a point where the two lines will intersect. Sorry about that. Yeah. So there will come a point where the two lines will intersect. Okay. And any three, uh, two of the three. Okay. So when that happens, it clearly means, it clearly suggests that this is. Sorry, let me just fix that. Yeah, so this clearly suggests that this is not a reflection. This is definitely a rotation. So that means as far as A onto C is concerned, this is basically a rotation. So I should write it over here that A to C is a rotation and A to B is a reflection. Now, how exactly do you find out whether it's rotation or not? Well, uh, again, step one is the same, that you join object and image with straight lines step two is that you identify that whether the lines are intersecting or parallel if lines intersect then it's definitely a rotation All right so this is something that sh that will come in handy uh, when you have to dis when you have to describe the transformation and remember with reflection the, the next step is that once you've identified its reflection you got to be able to find out the line of reflection and the line of reflection is basically obtained by drawing by connecting all the midpoints of the object with uh, by, by connecting basically the midpoints of the uh, object and the image and this is basically what the line of reflection is going to be right here and how exactly do you describe rotation? Well, that is done by 
but first you got to decide whether it's 90 degrees or 180 degrees i have a detailed video on that you guys should watch that out if if you still have some doubts so yeah and then you guys know what what to do when it's 90 degrees which it is over here by the way and you guys know what to do when it's 180 degrees okay so that's that that's uh, another important concept that i wanted to discuss with you guys i uh, hope you guys understood this and that's all for this video i'll see you guys in the next one Until then, take care.